Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. And they're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. With everything you need when adverse weather hits and you got to fix things up, head over to Omni True Value Hardware. They serve the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Tri-State area. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Just want to give you a heads up and a reminder that the Joe and Joe Weather Show will be on tonight at 7.30 Eastern as we watch uh, all of this uh, rain get underway. At least we got our fingers crossed that we're going to get some of what's uh, forecast. Uh, Just being a little bit cautious here because we've been down paths like this before. Although this one's probably the most robust of any of the weather systems that we've seen at any time during the summer months. It's, it's, it's a different sort of setup. And you can see on the satellite, we've got this you know, conveyor belt of moisture that is just running from the Gulf states uh, right up through the Ohio Valley and into Pennsylvania and upstate New York. At least initially, that's where it, what's going on. We also, by the way, and this is actually helping the cause, is Tropical Storm Earl, which really isn't doing very much, hasn't strengthened overnight. Top winds are 50 miles an hour. It's kind of creeping its way northward away from the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico where they got some heavy rains. But what it's doing is it's actually strengthening the ridge offshore, which is slowing this next weather front down. And that really, if we're looking for a widespread rainfall, Uh, That's kind of what you want to happen because uh, you need time. And this is going to be a long duration event, at least the way uh, it is shaping up. Now, here's a look at the radar uh, as of uh, 9.45 a.m. Eastern time. And you can see it's fairly loaded with downpours. But you can also see that uh, if you draw a line from, say, Boston to north of New York City, northern New Jersey, and then just go south and west of there, most of the rain, all of the rain actually is to the north and west of that. And we're not seeing a lot of eastward progress, at least not yet. But we will start to see eastward progress of this uh, this afternoon. And I'm thinking that by, say, 2 p.m., uh, we'll see the leading edge of that rain move into northwest New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, and then as we uh, head toward uh, evening time, we'll uh, shift the uh, start line to the south. And by, say, 8 o'clock or so, uh, I'm thinking, well, maybe that might be a little bit too far south. But, say, by you know 8, 8 o'clock tonight, we'll see that uh, rain area uh, start to uh, move to the coast. And uh, at that point, it'll probably be south of Boston, south of New York City, cutting New Jersey in half and moving into southeastern Pennsylvania. And then overnight, that is going to continue to drift southeastward so that eventually uh, the rest of New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania get involved in the rainfall. The bottom line is that there's not really going to be a whole lot going on today, particularly if you're on the Jersey Shore, if you're in central and south Jersey and point southward, and even for Long Island, Uh, It's not going to be a picture-perfect day because you can see we do have a lot of clouds around. Uh, There are some breaks of sun in the mix, though. Uh, So I I think you're going to be fine if you've got outdoor activities uh, set up during the day side. Now let's look at the rainfall amounts. And this is through tomorrow morning. The uh, half-inch line is just south of Long Island across central New Jersey and point southward. You can see that during the day today and tonight, we're talking about an inch and a half to two inches plus for uh, parts of uh, northeastern and north central Pennsylvania, uh, northeastward into upstate New York and in through New England. And then tomorrow, as that front moves further to the south, and the key to all of this is a wave that's developing on the front, the heavy rain shift to the coast, where there could be anywhere from as much as uh, an inch and a half to maybe two to three inches of rain uh, in uh, in total during the day. So when we look at the uh, five-day rainfall totals, if you put it all together, by the time this starts to get out of the way on Wednesday, uh, we could be looking at two or three inches of widespread rainfall through much of east the eastern half of Pennsylvania uh, into New England. So we certainly could use this rainfall. It would make a, a nice dent uh, in the drought. It won't completely get rid of it. But 
at least it's a start. And the weather prediction folks with flash flood risk, this is for today. The slight risk is at least 15%. That red area of moderate risk is at least 40%. So you can see where that is centered during the day today and tonight uh, with uh, the moderate risk. Again, you get close to the coast, not much happens during the daytime. It's all going to be during uh, tonight and into tomorrow. And here's the risk for the daytime tomorrow, tomorrow night into early Wednesday with that wave just offshore. We've got slight risk from uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut, much of southern New York, uh, southeastern New York, Long Island, uh, New Jersey, most of eastern Pennsylvania, down into the eastern half of Maryland and Delaware. So part of me doesn't want to see, obviously we don't want to see flash flooding, but if we could manage at least a solid inch and a half to two inches of rain out of this spread over, say, 12 to 18 hours, it would be most beneficial. So the models have been very consistent here. Uh, this is at 2 p.m., then at 8 p.m., you can see where the GFS has the rain uh, area, uh, and then it continues overnight. You get this wave that develops tomorrow. You see a Tuesday morning, you've got a low sitting in northeastern Maryland that just slowly drifts to the east off the New Jersey coast by tomorrow night. Uh, and even on Wednesday morning, there's still some uh, rain going on. Uh, and then it starts to uh, slide to the south and east during the day on Wednesday you can see Earl is moving north northeastward, uh, passing to the east of Bermuda, at least according to the GFS. And then finally, we can see some improving weather conditions as we get to Thursday and to Friday. And as far as the next this coming weekend is concerned, I think Saturday looks OK. And maybe we could squeeze out much of Sunday before we get into another round of rain or showers Sunday night or on Monday. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number and the website omnitruevalue.com. Uh, you can head over there to get more information. Just a quick look at the tropics here. We'll cover more of this tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show along with the latest on the rain. There's Earl, uh, just as I said, just sort of drifting northwestward uh, in the Atlantic here. Uh, again, it's enhancing that ridge and helping us to get this rainfall. There's a tropical wave moving off the African coast uh, that uh, shows uh, well, it's kind of disorganized. Uh, we'll see what happens after it passes the Cabo Verde Islands. Uh, another dying old tropical wave in the North Atlantic has gotten sheared apart. And just at the very top of the screen, you can see the bottom of the circulation of Hurricane Danielle, which has finally started moving uh, away to the northeast. So kind of blocky out here at the Atlantic with these storms out there holding up the traffic in the eastern part of the United States. So we'll see you tonight at 730 Eastern. Enjoy your Labor Day holiday.